Michael here. Nate, tough loss tonight. What do you think went wrong? Thanks, J. Michael. Uh, well, first of all, I think our offense was really good tonight. I, the execution on that end was uh, really good, and I really liked the effort. You gave up 143 points, Nate. Uh, yeah, well, the, the defensive execution was a little lacking tonight. I, I liked the effort, but the execution, it just wasn't there. And what was it exactly that you were trying to execute? Uh, yeah, the, the effort and execution of what we were trying to execute wasn't executed very effectively. We're definitely going to need to up the effort in order to execute our game and play the way we want to. Does that answer your question? Michael Pointer, IndyStar. Nate, you were up 12 with six minutes left in the game. Why do you think you couldn't close it out down the stretch? You know, down the stretch there, I think it just came down to effort and execution in the fourth quarter. It's a 60-minute game, and we, we just didn't execute late there. So why didn't you adjust the pick-and-roll coverage after giving up 24 to Westbrook in the fourth? Well, you know, our goal is to be disruptive on that end, and we needed to execute that game plan, and we just didn't match their effort tonight. It was a tough loss, uh, but we'll learn, and we'll execute better next time. Nate, this was the last game of the season. Well, then we'll have to execute next season. Nicholas Kyle Pring begging for views on Reddit. Nate, it was reported that you were mad that a plane wasn't taking off on time this season. Can you speak to that? Well, what I think it came down to was the execution. You know, you get a charter and you expect that charter to work, and when it comes down to it, that plane has to show some effort and show some execution. I didn't feel like the plane was as focused as it needed to be. It's been a tough season, and it's something we'll work on going forward. As I understand, the plane was de-icing and couldn't take off. Yeah, well, the plane was trying to be disruptive, but its effort and execution just weren't there. It, it'll have to be better in the next one. Nate, Max Kellerman here. At halftime, your assistant coach and player Goga Bataste had a literal boxing match at half court. Nate, can you tell us just what the heck happened there? Well, you know, Greg and Goga have been going back and forth a bit, so we decided the best thing to do would be to just let him fight it out. Uh, you know, Goga threw a right hook there, but uh, I, I didn't really think his effort and execution were very good on it. Greg laid him out with a full body tackle, and I really thought his effort and execution on that were really good. And I liked the effort of the fight overall, but the execution just wasn't where we needed it to be, and we'll have to be better next time. You're planning on having more fights! Uh, we've been fighting all season, and this seems like a really good way to boost our attendance. Hey, Nate. Steve Hill here, Ulti World Disc Golf. Nate, I've heard you've been frolfing in the off season. How's that been going for you? You know, I've tried to be disruptive out there on the course, but my effort and execution just haven't been there, and I'll, I'll have to do better next time. All right, is that all we have tonight? Okay, thank you. I'm going to go back to Toronto now.